Hey toy collectors, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today we are taking a look at the G.I. Joe Defiant Space Complex. I've got my buddy Nick here. We recently went up to Staten Island, New York to purchase this Defiant from a viewer that commented on one of my other videos. And we went up there originally to pick up this, then he started like showing off some other things, sending me pictures, ended up buying a big lot of stuff. I already reviewed the other items. And this is our video just on the Defiant. And I have a Defiant that I've owned for at least seven or eight years now from my collection here. And the new Defiant. And we're going to kind of see which structures have the best parts. Because between the gantry, the booster, and the shuttle, there's a ton of parts here. A ton of parts in this thing. And we're going to try and see, you know, what would be the best course of action for which one I keep or what combination of things I keep. The big thing when you're buying any Defiant are these blue doors. They're fragile. People care more about these blue doors than they do anything else. The shuttle could be pure yellow. If these blue doors are, are unbroken, that's where the money is when you're buying a Defiant. They also can turn yellow as well. Yeah, they get kind of green. And they get very, very fragile. This is the one that we picked up from New York. This is Kevin's. These blue doors are almost near mint. They're beautiful. They're, they're beautiful. They got one little chip here where this red gun goes. I've got one perfect door and one chip door here. And the same thing goes on the other shuttle, but they're Correct. opposites. They make a set together. Yeah, this one is the chipped one. And this, this one is good. And this one's chipped. This one's there. chipped on this one, and this one's good. So he only needs to swap over one of them. Nick's so, telling me it's a fairly easy process. There's well, a pin that runs... We'll find out. I'll be doing here. some research. Yeah. Have you done this before, Nick? I Successfully? have. Okay. Yes. We're not actually doing a tutorial no. video. No. But eventually, the, the swap will happen, um, and maybe I'll post a follow-up with the final Defiant put together there. All right, so the doors, we know we're taking one from each. Correct. Do we want to talk about the shuttle next? Or the insides of the doors. We can't even open we them together at the same them. time. Oh my gosh, it's so big. So when I look inside here, I've got an elevator and the three platforms. Which this has. That one has it, yeah. so we don't have to swap those no. parts. This one does have one of those upper guns, which is great. And actually, this one came with a small box of extra parts, so we do have a few other odds and ends. The guy packed them up in a big tomato box yeah. for us. When we got there, this is what I focused on first. Right. I said, I knew that there was other toys there, but this is what we went up for. Well, we, we drove an hour and a half, something, something like, like that, that we, two hours. This was our focus. You know, I picked it up, I took the booster off, the shuttle off. You know, I was, you know, because I, the first thing when he told me about this, I said, the first thing is, what are the blue doors like? I said, because if they're not anywhere good, I said, there's, there's still value in it, but not what he wanted for it. And I have a personal hang-up about the shuttle doors, yeah. because on this particular one, when I bought it, it had a broken door, so I bought a second shuttle to put a new door on it, and I broke the new door putting it on. So, knowing that that one had perfect doors was one of the reasons I was very excited about it. And I was kind of having a heart attack, because the guy who owned it, that I was buying it from, kept opening the doors very quickly... And I was just like, oh, please don't break them. Yeah. I want to buy this. <laughs> so like, well, I just opened it. I only open it to where it starts to give me resistance, and then I stop. You know, this is 30-year-old plastic. You know, it, I think it was stored in his basement. Yeah, and yeah, you know, basement of his mom's house. Yeah. I actually bought an additional door for this shuttle that's unbroken. It's got garbage stickers on it. But after breaking a door for this, I was like, I'm done. I'll just keep this with it. I have an unbroken yeah. door. I'm not futzing with it. I was also excited that one has the dorsal fin. Mine actually has a broken dorsal fin in there, but I do have the side fins. Correct, which just doesn't. Cool. The stickers are okay on this. It's fairly white, which is mm -hmm. nice, but yours is fairly white as well. And I think the stickers maybe are even a little bit nicer on mine as yeah. far as the, the, just the, door, the numbers on right, right the, on the door. Yeah. See, now my craziness, I would keep this one and keep that one but display this one, but have that as saying, this would be my good sticker one. That would be mm. the crazy part in me. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how I get. Um, the smaller stuff, 
you just go buy another one. Something like this, you, it's so You're not going to have find. two, yeah. Correct. But yeah, if it was a snowcat, and you had Correct. one that was pristine, but the stickers were messed up, and then a one with a broken tab of beautiful stickers, you could keep two. It's not Correct. that big of a deal. Um, this one's missing one of the boosters on the back. But again... Yeah, I think he had told us that he knew it was missing. Yeah. But again, he's got I've got here. a complete set of boosters over here for both my shuttle and my booster. Yeah, the, the booster part has all the exhaust. Exhaust, yes. But the... The shuttle is missing a big one and a little one. There's the big there one. There you go. And there's a small one. This one's missing the big, well, big one and a little one, but again, we could take it from his. Right. You know. Um, the other thing that's missing is the canopy. Which is a shame. That's that's one of those pieces, for many years, a big part of my G.I. Joe collecting was, for vehicles anyway, was as long as it displayed well. Like, if something was missing, a couple missiles, but it looked even, yeah. I was okay with that uh, for a long time. So, to me, that would be a hang-up personally. Like, I would need a canopy. Uh, like, if it's missing something on the in interior... You don't see it that much. It, it doesn't annoy me as much that I'm missing that part. I've got some little things inside here. This one's missing one seatbelt or one... The control arm thing like yeah. this? So I've got one of those in here. I don't know which side is... You know what? This is the right... So you would have the right... Actually, i got two of them in here. This is... Well, it goes like this. Right, it makes a set. Yeah, so this is the side you need on this one. There's my broken hinge. So technically, he has the parts to make this one whole. Yeah, and then there's also like a, a latch piece. There is that would that go. This attaches to. Yeah. All right, so that's all good news. There's important parts in that booster that is just as fragile as yeah. these blue doors. I got the blue door. Now these. There's a clip in the front. There's a clip in the front. So you push it down, and it comes off. Now when you flip this over. It does have laning here, and it does have guns. In the belly there. In the belly there. I don't know if yours... And it also has the airlock... Port. Yeah. The airlock patch. port. I don't know if you can see that in there. Again, even... This thing seems very sturdy. It's just the guns... I'm sorry, the doors that are very mm -hmm. fragile. Obviously, the fins... And... It's got the laning here, and then... Is very cool. You just... Yeah, the little push down tabs. Yeah. A friend of mine growing up had the Crusader, which was a reissue of just this top shuttle piece. Except I had for the... so much fun with it. They modified it a little bit. The, the inside, instead of having a crane arm, had a Night Raven drone inside Correct. as a little mini ship. It was cool. It was a really cool reuse of this. The other thing is, they, uh, when you look back on the, uh, the commercials for it, kid flying with it, but also there was a. Uh, payload basically that you could pose him floating in floating space. Him in space they're always missing i don't have one i've never even seen one yeah in real life the one that the one that i bought to get the good top door was missing that airlock door i remember that when i got it now this just literally slides the booster is amazing like it's a huge playstation i'm almost surprised that didn't get reissued as its own thing yeah but i don't know what spot to put it so you can show you basically this whole thing does tilt up um yeah the gantry tilts up there's really nothing in here there's no seat belts there's yeah. no so that one's good it's a cool little command center though there's seats yeah. for you know a small crew of guys we already sold it it's got all the thrusters oh it's missing one it's missing one small one right but again we could pull that from it's got flip out guns down here on the sides yeah Again, all the parts that could be missing from it, they just they, they put so many parts in this thing. Both the new one from New York and mine are missing the front guns that go on the, the front corners. Those are so easily broken off yeah. for a kid trying to manage that ship. Yeah, because, I mean... It, it's huge. Me as an adult, holding this yeah. is bulky and awkward. Can you imagine a 10-year-old kid? It's insane how no. big this toy is. No. So this one... You have to slide it down. That goes this way. You're right. So 
basically put it down like this. It's basically back. Okay, that's what I was wondering if we yeah, need to spin I a little pantry around. Yeah. Couldn't remember which side the hinge was on. I know. Then you're, it's supposed to slide there. See, now it's kind of locked kinda in. Now it's kind of stable, yeah. I know. So, it's got its little chair here which flips up. It's got a computer stand. Um, there is... There should be one, two... And then there's a num there's three seats. It should have four seats, but it's missing three seats. It has one. It has both of the computers, the computer stations, stations, and then the other two, um, just missing the seats. And I think one of them we noticed the tab was broken in. Correct. In there or on the sh on oh. the seat itself? I forget. Now this one is good. Okay. The one that's in here. This um, is the seat. That that's you're the seat. About. Correct. This is the seat. The tab's broken. Because it flips up. It's hard to see. Um, I might flip it up for you. And it's got an elevator, or an airlock is what they call it. Um, so the, the whole Defiant shuttle can sits on sit top. on top of that. Yeah. Who thought funk of this? I mean, it's a wonderful playset, but it's just so massive. I, you know... Surprise! Any of them lasted. They didn't cut any corners on no. it, but it's still not strong enough to support its no. own weight. Like it's, it's an enormous toy with so many moving parts. So many moving parts. So it's got the airlock, but then there's also that should be that other piece that he had there. Yeah. And it's broken at the top. There's a little two little pins, it's supposed to pivot because it's supposed to lock it, obviously. Yeah, it goes right, it literally goes right here. Yeah. Yeah. It literally goes right here. That way you fit the little guy in there. But that one's broken. I, we'll have to check his. And this shuttle has all its little engine covers on the side. That's, yeah. Which I know, or the booster, I know my booster's missing one of those. And then I think it's there should be a door there on. There should be a door, which I his have has. That. So we can take that from his. And again, you're handling it like it's, you know, the Mona Lisa. Because the plastic... Yeah, okay. you push too hard on it. And you're, you so I just have to check on these side ones. Now this... That's just an... Just an engine cover, yeah. yeah there's no... I think the only guns are those back are these back ones. Yeah. So right off the bat, he's got the the door. The door. Flip this up. This one is not. See, he's got. They're all missing that one. A little, a little nub of that seat breaks off real easy. This one's broken. So right now we know we need three good chairs. Okay. He's got one good chair. He's got both stations. He's good for that, but we know he needs three good chairs. He needs one of these. So this one's like a commander style chair. Correct. And they all have the little back peg. Yeah. So that way, you know, your Joes aren't flopping in the breeze. <laughs> uh, he does need the airlock door. But this one is a good stand-in because it has the bottom peg. Okay. So it kind of stays where it's supposed to be. So it kind of stays. He's looking at he's looking at this door here yeah. inside. Hey, you know what? No. This no. somebody somebody glued a metal peg. Oh, this one's been doctored. Yeah, somebody some some dad or mom fixed this for a little Jimmy, mm -hmm. you know, when he broke it. So again, it, just, so that already makes this booster the New York booster kind of the one you want to keep. Correct. Though, because this one's been modified. Yeah, this one. It's already missing one of the... One of the engine covers. One engine cover. Um, it's missing the other... No, it's, it's got it, but it's missing the gun. Mm. But again, this... I'll be happy to steal a booster off of it. Exactly. Rocker off of it. Exactly. Again, this... The one we finally... Put together. Put together is going to be a good starter one for someone yeah. that needs... Just likes to have one. Which is how I got this one. I just want to donate a Defiant. And, you know, for years I've been very happy with it, with it being semi-complete. So, again, we'll make 
a list of what we're going to swap, what he still needs. And there's a bunch of parts in here. Here's another one of those doors. Oh, I'm seats sorry, broken. Seats. Put the broken. Commander it's, chair. But I think it's broken on the bottom. Hmm. You don't know how long that peg is supposed to be. Blast shield just flips up, which is good on this one. Stickers are actually better on this one. These are peeling, but again, that's something that you'd have to figure out to see. Hey, is it worth even trying, trying it? it? Because again, this plastic's 30 years old. Um, when we do try to move stuff, we're going to do it on a warm day. Yeah. We're at the plastic's warm because cold plastic and old plastic don't mix, you know. So, we've already discussed that the Little gates, the elevators are good on both of them. That's nice to not have to Which is good, because all we're going to do is swap one from the other. The less we have to deal with it, mm -hmm. the less plastic we have to try to bend. Because, again, it, some things are literally, you, you put it on, and that's what it's meant never to come back off again. But, again, they weren't thinking that these toys were going to be around. Right. This was, this was going to get played with for five or six years, and then, and then no one's going to care. Trash. Yeah. yeah. The stickers are real nice on this one. But, we, again, we have to see how it comes off mm -hmm. without breaking it. So the other hard part is when you have to fl basically flip it over flip it over because we have to get it up because um, there is a gear under there, mm -hmm. there's a spring under there, there's two arms. And we know that this one doesn't have the springs on it because the guy gave us the spring. The spring. So Yeah, it was literally this little flimsy piece of plastic that that spring Looks into. And it's a pretty good spring. Well, it has to hold a lot it of weight. It has to hold a lot of weight. So, of course, that gives away. If you find one that has the hole still good in it, your first order of business should take that spring off. Mm -hmm. There's people that keep it just like how Kevin keeps it down, and then there's people that keep it up. Also, if you noticed, we don't have them up just for the video. This is how you should be storing your Defiant because it's another design flaw they have the, we'll show you later they get these little tiny wheels right. it cannot support the weight I don't even know if this thing was brand new those wheels still weren't bowed out like yeah, that yeah I wonder how many of those broke almost immediately especially yeah. because kids tend to push down while push. pushing yeah. yeah so they're putting a lot of extra weight so mine's actually on a little stand I made I actually bought a little plant coaster, coaster thing and I put a, I cut a piece of wood for to fit on. This one's just sitting on a piece of Tupperware yeah, just to protect that, it. Yeah. But I replaced several wheels on this one when I bought it. I picked up a lot that had like one wheel section because it's it's wheel clusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I picked up one of those and stole some wheels off it to fix this one. The New York one is missing one wheel but the peg is fine so the I could switch a wheel if I needed yeah. to. We can come to the front. Might as well do the front while we're here. Uh, looking at Kevin's um, his glass is warped yeah it was warped when i got it it was just it was stored in some heated place because if you look at the new york one it's nice and clear mm -hmm. it's not warped um it looks like kevin's on both of them or warped this one's this one's pretty bad yeah that one doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to be yeah. at all now the difference between the bottom crawler part that we're looking at front here is again it's missing this middle piece, which looks like it's a winch or... Yeah, it looks like a giant come-along kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, something to pull it in case it gets stuck, because can you imagine trying to move something real life like <laughs> this? It would, under its own power. But again, this came from that same New York hall where they love fire for some yeah. reason, and the one little corner has just a little bit of melting. It's a little damage. Just a little bit, because it's a shame. And the, the guy actually had pointed that out to me and. The initial pictures when we first started the conversation, he pointed out there was yeah. a little damage there. But that's the only melting part. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, because, you know. Because there were other toys that had some toys. fire damage. Yeah. Uh, it's got the gun here. It's got the gun there. The black gun as well. Yeah. It's got this big one. This, these are another. These are pretty expensive. Yeah, these gun stations are kind of neat because uh, the ones in the back, I guess, slide in and out. This they one do. just rotates. Yeah. He actually threw in a hit and run figure with the thing, so he's man in the front gun so here. So we were hoping uh, 
There was more Joes, but we didn't get it. I never got the call. There's also a one of these little guns like this down Missing in the middle on here. One. He's got the, the post. The post, which is good. It's not broken. So again, we're going to sit down and we're going to figure out if we're going to swap the crawler part or we're just going to let that go and say this is good for his collection and he's fine with that. Um, but again, we have to decide because of the orange glass. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, they make stuff we can clean it up, but it's mm -hmm. the warping part that... We and the warping is kind of a shame on that one. It is, because... I've, I've pushed it kind of into position to see if dozens of times and walked away and then immediately pops yeah. back out of position. I can position. get it in there, but this... It just doesn't that's stay. That's the best it's going to do. Yeah. Now, again, we might not touch it because as soon as we try to get the clip off of it, it might break that... Right. Um, so, again, that's something we have to figure out if we're going to do. Uh, as Kevin picked up hit... They're, you know, both, they're both they're that both, way. One little tab's like there but but chipped off yeah again you wouldn't know that by looking at it just having it sit there again. and that's the kind of thing where i'm happy if it displays well it has the gun which you would never know i would love it if it was attached permanently but it's okay but again that's something down the line where he goes to a flea market and he sees this laying in something and he flips it over and it's got two good posts i'm gonna pick buy it. that yeah. yeah uh so similarly to that front gun there are big guns that go on the back of this Mine is missing both of them. The one from New York came with them, as well as the gunner station. But even those things can be problematic because they all have a little control peg. Correct. And that breaks off of them also. And then on the side of this one, you can see it has these guns upside down on the side. Now, this one here has two good posts. So, he's good on that gun, which is good because you'd want two good posts to hold that up. And there's one in the rear, which is missing on both of these. Shells. Yes. Yeah. So that's a that's a part for sure I'm missing. Right. And it's upside down, so you really need both posts to, right uh, to stay in. To stay in. I don't even know. These are the two bars that I was telling you. Here's the gears. Um, it's hard to see without us flipping the whole crawler under, but like I said, there was that spring. Each one of these has a spring on it, and I can see from here that the, the eyelet is torn out from it because just the sheer volume and weight of this. Can you imagine a little Jimmy cranking, cranking this thing up with the shuttle in there? Everything in there, you know? The New York one doesn't have both of these in the back. Uh, I think they're in that box, though. Are they? This one's good. I mean, no, it's not good. That one's broken. That one's broken. Yeah, some. So that's another displayable part, but not really right. Yeah. He technically has one that is good. But again, it's on the back. Right. Again, he, he can make a list and say, okay, if I see this, you know, let me get it. You know, but again, it's nothing that... Pepper by a third or four point three, three and a half, four uh, Defiant, I can maybe find that part of it now. Yeah. I hope to never buy another Defiant, by the way. That's, that's what we're hoping with this, to give him a good one. Uh, on the back, there's also a, uh, for the crank... It has up and down. It shows you which way little Jimmy needs to turn it. Mm -hmm. Kevin's is missing on his. I think I have it somewhere, but it, it, it there was no way for it to permanently stay in. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there was like a, a tab on it that was broken. Maybe. I think it's floating around somewhere in my collection. I'm sure it's somewhere. I remember seeing it when I bought it. And there's really nothing in the crawler part other than some walls, but again, that's just part of it. Yeah, there's just little some stickers and details. It doesn't really come off, so that one's good. And then the wheels, again, is the other part. But you can see that it has these banks of wheels on the side. And they're they're on like a pivot point. It's like a cluster of wheels on a pivot point. And those wheels, the wheels can break off at the peg here. They can break off at the point where the cluster attaches. Because it's only one little post that holds all those wheels on. And then all the weight of this sits on 12 or 16 wheels or whatever it is. So it's a, it's a lot of pressure on those little and guys. the wheels bow out like this. If we were to put it down, they would go out like this. Yep. 
And so, like I said, I'd like to see this thing when it was brand new, right out of the box. If those wheels would bow like that. If again, the plastic was obviously less brittle then, but right. the weight is still the weight, no matter if it's 30 years ago or two years ago. Right. Um, it's only missing one wheel, one of the wheels, not of the cluster of the wheels. Just the individual. Single. So that they're very simple. They're just held on by that pressure point. You cl you know you clip it with a needle nose plier, and it comes right off. I've done that many times. That's fine. And of course, it came with two figures. Right. Hard top and payload. Um, I know you got them both. I own both of them, yeah, for, for my shuttle. I need uh, hard top's gun, but other than that, I'm good. You got the backpack arms and everything? I got the backpack with the arms. I got the, the mic. Nice. Yeah. So that's pretty much. Again, we have to sit down and see which one we're going to take. Well, we already know the blue doors because yeah. you want to have one of each. Them. Again, it's the crawler part. We have to decide which you know one we're going to do that with. This one is obviously looks way cleaner. Yes. But again, if we clean this one up, it, it might be just it might as be good. just as nice. Um, but yeah. again, we have to figure out what we're going to swap, how we're going to swap it, what we're just going to leave. Right. You know, like the blast doors. If they don't come off, we're, you know that. Yeah. That's it. We're just going to leave it instead of trying to break it. Because there would be people that would try to take this something off and break it just to get it. And I, I've been there. I, know. I did it with the shuttle doors. It's like, how many more do you want to break Right. just to get it? And it's like, just leave it. Thanks for watching this super exciting, outrageous tour review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know your defiant space shuttle stories in the comments down below.